Tiny Tums, Tiny Pies. You simply won't get tinier. Peens. Not quite peas. Not quite beans. But something special in betweens. Barbara, get the big plates out. Oh, Nigel. Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. Come on down to what you... Come on down to Wedgie's Bed Hall, where we have an ample variety. Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs! Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs! Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs! Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs! Family. Romance. Pit. Visit Banzer. It's great good. So that's Banzer. Strange place, I know, but... They need what we're selling, see? I've got you a meeting with the Lord Mayor today. So don't miss that bus. Are you listening? Get going! What are you still doing here, boy? Get out! Little fella. <laughs> Over here. Thank goodness you're here. I spied a shiny tuppence down this hair runoff. 
But more fool me, my arm has become trapped. Perhaps you might see about sourcing some lubrication, that I might slip free. Hmm? I need something greasy to slip me out of here. Nice to have you around. Hope he gets that tuppens. done and then I can finally get home to my puzzles. I love puzzles. No chance of any of them round here though. to clean up this little rose garden. You can start by getting on that mower. Thank you. 
That is a fine statement. My wife could live a thing or two. Nice firm grip on that mower, lad. I tell you, Reggie's wife could learn a thing or two. <laughs> oh, dear. How about a cobbler's pint, eh? What's a cobbler's pint, then? It's like a normal pint, but I take boo and my shoes off. Uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few barrels about? Well, you're down there, lad. Give those barrels a shake-up, won't you? Every morning I wake up, can of lager, and I do a big wing. Then I get out of bed and I go downstairs for my morning pint. You know, you need steady hands to be a locksmith. Ah, Larry, we were just talking about my morning pint. I think I'll take it now, please. Right you are, Ronnie. Another morning pint coming up. You working today then, fella? Yes. In fact, I'm supposed to be at Meg's already, I think. I'll be back in a bit for my morning pint. Oh, what's he like, eh? Come on then, let's pour your pints and all on the house. That Ronnie's a character. He'll be back later, I reckon. Mercury again. 
Give me strength. No breakfast for me. Typical. I never get my way. Ah. Ah. I've never seen a hole as big as that before. My wife could do anything like that. Marge, I don't think this thing's worked in quite a while. How have you been cooking fish and chips all this time? Oh, I just do a cold fry usually. Oh. Hang on a wee minute. Where's my blinking spanner? Oh, don't tell me it's been pinched again. It'll be that senile old fishmonger bish down at the market. You better get down there and find it, or it'll be cold chips till the cows come home. Now then, Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money until... No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. 
I didn't walk right for a week last time, and that vinegar smell's only just washed out. Sort yourself. Keep both toes on the brake. Hands at half past seven. Never so gently. Put your best foot forward. Oh! That's okay. I couldn't get it quite right my first 48 times either. It's nothing like walking, this. Looking for tits. Or finches. I'm not for safe. Ah! Ah! Oh! One for all, buckle my shoe. Oh, I don't know. I better call him Marie. Shagging. a sausage here. Would you like it? Here you go. Ah! I've dropped it. That's okay. I've got another. Ah! I've dropped it again. It's all right. I've got some more inside. Back in a mo. Worry, little fella, I'll pop me down the apples and pears in a jiffy.
Oh, I'll find this. Don't bother there, young man. Help yourself to some scrambled bread on your way out. i better get a dustpan and brush. Off your pop, then. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I've been sucking this pipe all morning. I haven't got a drop out of it. Little Tom Anthony has then he crossed it over. We need to dampen that topsoil pronto. Cucumbers, but I cannot stand a snail. Every time I put one in my mouth, I'm nearly sick. Won't you do me a favour? If you see any snails, give them a clip round the ear hole for me. Snails? No, thank you. Cucumbers? Yes, please. off my spanner as a stiff kipper, is it? But we've been friends for 40 years. Why on earth would I betray your trust now? Uh, why don't you spare me the excuses, you fat trout? I'm taking this back to my toolbox where it belongs. How embarrassing. Wow. Cracking work that this girl's never looked better. Have you heard about Big Ron's? What's it done? No pies. No pies? I know, that's what I said at all. Ducks and ham. On a Thursday Ron's morning, again. No On a Thursday morning. What are you going to do? Well, I don't know, but I'd eat pie for tea. Well, of course you do. Why don't you ask your Beverly to make you one? Oh, I suppose we do with that jar of mustard that he's using. Well, there you go then. I'll be round at six. But you're not invited. No more dinner guests. I 
can't believe that big man no pie. Not after last time. He should hang his head. Janice the wife, died in Corfu in 1992. Don't ask me how. Wow, hold on. Me fish pop. What's all this about then? Oi. Pies, tiny pies. All I need is my burger. Oh! Yeah, you can have any of that. Ah, uh, Karen won't be needing them where she's gone. Oily bugs, get them fresh, get them warm, get them moist. High in carbs, higher in oil. Oh! No breakfast, and now no lunch. I guess I will just starve. Ugh. to buy Tom's from now on. Hey, I'm right hungry, me. I want to buy. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm desperate. You better get yourself in here now. Ah! Hey. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's urgent. Now, aren't you? Well, what? It is big. Well, you didn't have to say it like that. Don't be so soft about it. I've got a big tour. They don't see me chucking bananas. Oh. Get up. Drive across a thick rope of wire. Ah, a horseshoe. Oh, 
Oh, my big bird. Time. I came in as usual, opened up shop, counted till, went to make my first pie of the day, and then I realised we've no meat. I can't make a pie without meat. It's the second most important ingredient. Oh, I hate to say it, but you'll have to get down to Sam's Hams and pick us up some of his steak. Oh, a sorry state indeed. Lauren! Get that oven warmed up for when this young man comes back. Can you get your course with you on? Right away. Come on then, lad. Let's be having you. <sighs> What's he got to say for himself then? Leave it be. I'm squatting cardboard boxes in here. do this. Like we didn't need that hose after all, lad. Yeah. Right, so all we need now is fertilizer. Yeah. Ah, the dingle reed. A most invasive and hostile flower. If even slightly agitated, it will burst and scatter the seed. Fortunately, I've caught this one before it can do any damage. Never touch a dingle weed with the open palm. They are dangerously virile. today. Oh!
Here's some wisdom for you. Never give an owl a towel. I can't seem to understand it. I pick up all the litter and I put it in a bag. And then, next thing I know, it's mumming everywhere. I'll never make buzz on that at this rate. Still, I do love litter. Oh. Oh. Both my dads were diggers, so there were always spades knocking about the house. Oh, hello there, young man. Thank goodness you're here. My drain pipes are all blocked up over there, and I need them cleaning out. Won't you give it a go? It's only Nancy's new bloody boyfriend. She's got a new one every week. All right. It'll be nice to have a proper sit-down tea. I'd rather have a sit-down wee. Oh, behave. Hey, oh, it's happened again. Me pasty pop. Bring back asbestos. It's fine. You are being lied to.
chicken bake, please, love. Ah, right, well, with no butter today, Colin's gone and lost it. So it's vegan. I hope that's all right. Oh, no, I'd rather shit bed. Found me. I'm the fridge stoat, and I'm awfully frigid. Ah, uh, no, I just. I'm actually the town bowl, if you catch my meaning. Possible to dual wield functions. Left hand, right hand, double bash. So, I was watching the television last night. The numbers were getting higher and higher. The programming, more and more irreverent. I was almost entrapped by the telly shopping. A long form piece about a wet and dry vacuum cleaner almost caught my eye. But then I happened upon the strangest of things. An entire television channel dedicated to women on the phone. Of course, I dialed in immediately. And the operator connected me to the most enchanting lady, Chantelle. We spoke for hours of Tolstoy and of Dickens and of Tchaikovsky and of course, anatomy. And see, that's why I needed your credit card details, Larry. Right, Ronnie, for the telly ladies. Yeah, that's right, Larry. That was from a night of mutual pleasure. Right you are, Ronnie. Now, about my tap. I won't be paying it. I need all of that money for the wet and dry vacuum. I wonder, Larry, just how wet can we get it? Cracking work reclaiming my spanner from that despicable fishmonger. Unfortunately, I've just noticed my screwdriver's gone missing too. It's probably that daft lassie Kerry down at Price Shaggers. Right away you go, laddie. 
I can't get into this thing without my trusty screwdriver. What the devil are you still doing here, boy? I need that screwdriver quick sticks. Whoa. Hey, hello. He's just the bits who found his spanner. Shame about Mr. Bish, though. I'll not be buying from him again. I get lonely sometimes. Ah! Oh! Do you like to have a little look through the window? Some raw. Uh. I don't know. Uh. Uh. Monkey pup. to load them down from the roof. Can you fetch us that box of rat poison from top shelf? I've been on my best behaviour. I deserve a treat, not a mouse.
pig now. Kerry Louise Pickle, passing off my flathead as your produce, is it? Yes, but why on earth would I do that? I can't eat on my back for a minute in this town without one of you's pinching my tools. I swear down, I've never seen this before in my life. Ah, uh, you likely story. I'll be filing a complaint with the head office, that's for sure. Hey, anyway, back to the chip over this. You're right with you, Jasper. Anyway, thank you for that, kiddo. You have to never look back here. Don't put your bin in my bin. Eh? Ah! Huh? Me get the screwdriver back, laddie. I wish I could say we were done, lad, I really do. But as I got back, I noticed my hammer's gone walkies. He must have been pinched by that no good yob, Frank. He's probably doing at the brook, poaching fish as we speak. Hurry down along to the brook before Frank does himself a mischief with my hammer. Quick time, lad, come on. If I don't get this fryer fixed soon, Marge is gonna have my pants down. best when you start it young. I used to go to Bishes, but my doctor says the brine will give me go. to see you twice in one day. Well, all right then. Hey, oi. Gone here. Hold him still, Turpentine. My father's the county ombudsman. Out. Mm. Eh. Oh.
worm. Another thing you ought to know about worms, very limited career paths. It's either down the compost heap or off crawling through keyholes at night to find a shiny penny. How's that for dirty work? Apparently, he's going to Sam's for his rum. Never. They are luscious, though. Well, aye, they are luscious. No disagreement there. But another man's meat in your pie. What are we, Sheffield? Oh, eh? Where do I get my rugs of such high quality? I make them at home with my seven adopted children. They do, Miss Janice, but we try not to talk about it. Oh, ah! I never thought I'd see the day where the big man would come to me for his meat. Come up here and have a do one this then. Seven years old, after me mum went lame. Father took her to knackers that very same evening, and I wept. When I was scarcely three years old, me father, mistaking me for a small cut of venison, hung me out in smokehouse. It was nearly a day dangling all the embers before my sisters found me. By then, I was already stricken with a black lung. The doctor said I shan't likely see my twelfth summer. And I wept. father brought me and my sisters a lamb each, and put a single sheep knife between us. Mine, the run to the litter, jolted as I made the cut. It bleated and bled for a fortnight, and I wept. Somewhere. Ah, here it is. Pastry Preets Premium Mixture Company. Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies. Dot biz. Pastry Preets Premium Mixture Company. Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies. Dot biz. Horrible raw. All right, lad. The number is. Oh, one, two, another two, six. Hello, this is Pastry Preets Premium Pastry Pastry. Colin, is that you? Ron? Yeah, Pasty Pete's off today. He's took Auntie Margaret down to Guernsey. So
So you've forgotten my pie mix, then. Oh, no. I'm ever so sorry, Mr. Ron. My memory's not been so good since my mum put me back on the bismuth. Well, you better bring us three big mix boxes post haste. Yes, uh, I'll be right over. Oh, there you are, Colin. Here you go, Mr. Ron. I came as fast as I could. Ooh, blurring. What the sure? Oh, hello, Colin. I had no idea you were Ooh. in the pie industry. I see. Oh, yes. I've always wanted to work with crush. Oh, young love. You're looking extra sweaty today, Colin. Thanks. It's actually butter. Slippy. S super slippy. You should see me get down a ginnel. I'm like a whippet. I love whippets. Really? They're skinny. The doctor says we've got a very similar bone structure. It shows you. My dentist says I've got the teeth of a springer spaniel. Maybe we should, uh, I don't know, go to the hygienist together sometime. Oh, to Colin! Ooh, Florence! Enough, Enough for everyone. everyone. Get his down to Big Ron's, where we've made our biggest pie yet. Big Ron, how big is the pie? It's a pie so big, you could feed a family of five for 40 years you'd still have enough for supper. It's a pie so big, you can't get lost in it. It's a pie so big, I have dreamt of it since I was a small boy. A pie so big that I feel as if I have been fired in my way. Now, look, I know you've told me before, but why can't you just, well, you know, make your pies a bit... tipped off that someone's selling counterfeit goods here in the market. But for the life of me, I can't work out which stall it is. Hey, hey. Huh. Uh, it's all for sale. It's what I, Karen, would have wanted. Oh, me weenie sausage meal. Blooming hack. It's the meat and the bun of the burger that I enjoy. Herbert's gonna have a right job on getting fertilizer with Rog in this state. No way to run a business. Six down starts with a D. Liquid refreshments. D. 
Send me down. your massive head. What? Well, it isn't massive! Try it out loud, Rog. There's no shame in it. Ooh. He's gone as mad as a magpie yeah. on a Monday morning. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, Mr. Peelings. We did everything we could. pay itself. Large. Too big. This is a family restaurant. Too big. Too big. It's just too, too big. big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Right then, Rog. I'll see you next week. Over. I can't stand the fuss. Oh. I just can't catch a break. Ooh. Ooh. I'm breaking it. 
bean tin, hear my breath. Bring me beans or bring me death. I'm Riggedy Beantin, hey my plea, I summon my six bulls back to me. Uh... That didn't work. Go find them. Bring me my birds. Where are my gold? Oh. Ah. Dear, oh dear, young lad. Looks like we just missed him by a truncheon's breath. <laughs> Coming at ease. Bye. 
Excellent work, cabin boy. You retrieved my finest lieutenants. There's a bright future ahead of you on this ship. Attention! Happy men. Eat. Hang on a minute. These coasters are one way. Very strange. Say, <laughs> my lad. and it's fine now. You are all soft. Hey. So what's it all about then? Well, it follows the interpersonal dramas of the street's inhabitants. All of their affairs and betrayals and whatnot. It's very compelling. Not like this shit. Look at this now. They're both in the bin. Flores, Mum Wang, she said you're a bitch. No, she isn't. Yeah, she did. She said you're a big fat bitch. 
Gary, give over! No, you're a proper bit, you Florence. Everyone says so. Even Colin. No, he don't! Don't talk about Colin or I'll smack you! some more sausages and I'm going to poke them through the hole. Here we go. Oh! That's alright. Here's... Oh! One more. Here... Ah! Oh, drop that one too. I'm afraid I've run out of sausages now. I'll go to the shop and buy some more. Bob folding on the way down. Go! Oh, you, you little, you little dusty gentleman, you. Go on, off with you now. Don't be coming back here. Here she go. Beautiful baby boy. And bigger than I thought. Daddy? Daddy? Cream of the crop. Bobby, you old chipstick. You nearly scared me soft. What can I do you for? Sorry to bother you, Herbert. There's been reports of crime in the area. Shit! That's right. Have you seen this criminal at all? Hang on a minute. That's no criminal. That's the honest businessman who sold me this brand new watering can. I'm afraid that's no businessman. That's bootleg, Bill. And that's no watering can. That's a watering can't. Bugger me. I paid ten bob sterling for that. It happens to the best of us, Herbert. Just last week, he swindled my wife with a wet dream catcher. So keep your eyes peeled, your head on a swivel, and a Johnny on your button. And I'll need to take this down to the station. Good grief, this town is going to the dogs. You better keep an eye out, lad. Charlie's got himself stuck in the well again. They'll know what it means. 
Shut up and have your spoon. Ah, that's better. I tell you what, I can't see out on the ground, me. I don't know how them badgers do it. Do you know, moles and badgers are a type of dog. Are you ready to get his hand with fishing? Ah, good idea. You can go in and all. Did you see that bird area? That's our bird, that is. Ah, uh, brother brought it back from Falkland. We couldn't get him full scuffed on the door. He had to pretend he was a pencil case. And now he's got lead by his name. Oh, no worries. We'll try again. Catch of the day! You've been up to some mischief with us, I'll bet! What are you on about, Jasper? I don't know. Wait till your Ma hears about this! I'm taking this back to my toolbox, and I'll see you at the triple, lad! Jasper, you puppy doing me nothing! Ah! And he said, £2.50 for parking. And I said, good God, I'm a duck. I wish I'd never asked. some roses to smell. We're going to buy with balls on a date. We're going to go to second base, swapping shoes. Kerry, if you don't give over, I'm going to tell Mum you've been drinking a nail varnish in the park. He's nearly finished. Why don't you see if he needs another round? Oh. Ah. Oh. I 
can't believe the cheek of that wee boy. I dread to think the trouble he was up to with this whole thing. Anyway, I think I've almost cracked her open. Take a look inside, won't you? See if you can't flush all this muck out. Right, Marge, that's your pipes all cleaned out. And I fixed the fryer. <laughs> oh, thanks, lovey. I hope it wasn't too much bother. I'll put you some chippies on. I need bother at all. But where does all that oil drain out to anyway? Oh, I've got no clue, love. <laughs> Open for business. Morning. Oh. Florence, not to call them out your psoriasis. He said it's terminal. I don't have psoriasis, Kerry. You just colour me in with a felt tip pen when I'm sleeping. in a right state. Oh, I'd see what's wrong, but Bobby says I've got to stay away from windows now. Oh. Thank goodness you're here, lad. Ah, oh, Bessie's sick as a pig. Chippies usually perk her up, though. Oh, you couldn't go up to Marge's and get us some, could you? She's neither use nor ornament till she's had her chippies. Poor cow. Oh, 
Norwich. Uh, that was um, Bobby Roger. He said you're under arrest. For being a bitch. Well, Jerry, if being a bitch was your job, you would get employee of the year. Shut up, Floyd. I've finished them all off. The big one needed both hands. Job. How do? Hi there, Mr. and Mrs. Bingy. Very nice to meet you both. Now then, Jack, how about a lager beer? Ah, go on then. Hey, I like him already. Wow, Mrs. Bingy. This is delicious. I've never had pie and sweet before. Thank you, Jackalus. Well, what do you normally have with your pie at all, lad? Well, usually the pie is big enough on its own. Big enough? Uh -oh. oh, look, please, don't make a fuss. Big enough? No, love, I won't have it. Not under my roof, not on my dinner table. Love, please. I really didn't mean anything by it. You shut your mouth! Oh, damn! And you can shut it at all. No daughter of mine is going with a big pie, man. Good morning. Thank goodness you're here. It's my breakfast time already, and I need some shopping. But I'm bed-bound, and I don't like other hands touching my shopping. Might you be able to assist? I'm in terrible need of a breakfast. Follow my fingers. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Tell you what, asbestos never gave anybody third degree burns. <laughs> I don't know why I even bother. I thought we were finished for the day, but we've had to come down and sort this out. Uh, Jasper should have left that fire rock. I preferred him cold personally. Better texture too. Ah. The doctor says my kicking days are over. Don't know what I'll do now. Ah. Anyway, I'm off to Planet Shoe this afternoon to get some brogues fitted. The lady there is so attentive. She's my muse, you see. What's a muse, Ronnie? Well, Larry, when it's late at night, you're all alone in your bed, and you're caught in the throes of your own carnal desire, and you're, you know, reaching a rhythm with yourself. You know, Larry, you're tugging your button. When you reach your crescendo, who is it that you picture in your mind's eye? Oh, for me, I suppose that'll be the weatherman. Well, that's it then, Larry. The weatherman is your muse. I see, Ronnie. Right you are. There you go, lad.
Never in all my years of service. Disgraceful. Oh. I'm going to see the back of you, you wee melon head. Uh, actually, I've got just the job for you. Why don't you head down to Price Shaggers and pick us up some spirit level bubbles? <laughs> hey, boys. <laughs> How does that sound? Right, away you go. Got it tough, me. Yeah? Ah, we both do. What that is? Oh, why? Yep. 42 a bed, dirt for breakfast, dirt for dinner. And we also sleep in sacks. Exactly. And for what? Best case scenario, we're peeled, chopped up, and drowned in oil. Aye, we've got it tough, us. Ah, we've got it tough. But at least we're all right now. Much better, Bessie. And just in time, too. We better be setting off. Oh, we don't want to miss our special appointment. Oh, I hope we find the place okay. Apparently, it's opposite our little field. The house with the blue door. Here it is. Oh, I'm too nervous to knock. You do it, Bessie. No. You're nervous too? Oh dear, oh dear. We'll be here all day. Ooh. A 
I've never had a bath before. So, you, you come here often? This is awfully nice. I got it from a car boot sale. No, I went and I was... I said, that's an awfully strange car boot. Oh. Oh, my. Sleep it off down the station. Me that pickle be this. Hold on to me, brush. I'm about to piece. Well, what are you wearing? Green dungarees and a flat cap? You're not going to believe this. Heavens to beetroot. I need to get that fixed. For worms, and it's a bag of soil. I said, in arrears? Well, I can try, but it's your wife. Thank you. 
eat this. Never give a trout the benefit of the doubt. Level bubbles, is it? Well, you're in luck. We just got a fresh batch in this morning. Go in the back, yeah, look. You need this. <laughs> Good luck. an oven glove. Where else am I supposed to put it? In the oven. Oh, hello. Oh. 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 Is that real felt? How much? Ten bob. Very reasonable. Oh, do you reckon, love? we still got that cabbage money. <laughs> Is that Bill like Bill? Look, everyone. This young man's caught bootleg Bill. It's more of a Cumberland cross, really. Now, now, settle down, settle down. Thanks to this young man's incredible police work, I can safely declare bootlegging in this town has been knocked on the head. Still at large. Almost out with this one, Charlie. Trimming jobs. 
Susan. You'll earn that shilling yet. I feel better already. Ooh. Only 40 years out of date. We'll take the lot. Hello, shopkeep. Hello. Oh dear, this one's imaginized. All together, that's. Bob. Bye bye, shopkeep. I think you've had enough, you great little piglet. Oh, okay, come up yet, yeah. come on through, come on through. That's a public bridle. Oh. So we're back in the Falklands for a second there. Steady as you go, lad. Oh, this is the very last thing I wanted to happen. A whole pack of snails in the garden. Oh, dear. Oh, no. There's another one going down the well. Oh dear. Where's your poor wife? You know what? Never mind. A 
little off piece here, but another thing worms really love, a rooster's egg. It's not an easy snack, but by God is a protein worth it. If you must know, cocktail sausage down the snorkel. Haven't been able to enjoy a buffet since. Burger a day makes me feel good. Oh. oh no, I've just got off the phone with that Karen. Turns out she says don't sell all my clothes on Bamboo's Market like last time. What's up with you? It's my head, Ron. It's just too big. Too big? You know me. I don't reckon out can be too big. Does that know? People used to rip me for my head and all. Really? Aye. At school, they used to call me Panhead. And the kids would call me Fathead. But look at me now. I've made big my business. And I've done all right. And that's done all right and all. Your own shop. Best throwing arm in town. And your Florence is doing well too. Three jobs. And she's nearly got a B Tech. Oh, that's true. She's off to uni next year. Oh, there you go. Come on, let's get down pub and have a yard. The boys would love to see you. Thank <laughs> you. 
25 dead. <sighs> Two destroyers, one landing ship, one landing craft, one container ship, 24 helicopters, 10 fighters, two frigates. Heat on that paint, Rog. <laughs> I know. It's nearly as big as mine. <laughs> <laughs> it is fucking massive. in bed.
your dinner's ready. Love? Hey, love. Look who's come for tea. Hello, lovey. Just in time for soup. All homemade. But oh no. It looks as if our cuckoo clock is broken. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, it's really broke. Please won't you help us? Six o'clock. Forget that clock and batch this mole. We need to knock him down the hall. Your gun's fine. Come here instead and help me slice my crusty bread. Spin my grinder round and round. Don't stop until my meat is drowned. I think, I think it's still a little broke. Help us fix our ticky tock. Where have you been, lad? Can't you see? There's 40 moles and one of me. Cherry, get a proper slice. Move the handle left and right. Spinning quickly is the key to make the mince for shepherd's tea. Come on, lad, you must too slow. Give that card in your go. I can scarcely drive my truck if I can't see from all this muck. A woman's work is never done. Clean up, please, and I don't want. Where have you been, you silly sod? Chopping chippies is your job. Help me keep the crime at bay. I don't need stroking every day. Really, Dane, make it quick. Spin us round and make us sick. <laughs> Hurry up and make it tick! Give that filthy mole the stick! Slice the bread and make it thin! <laughs> Careful now, my arm is in! Slash me up and right in two! Steady on, this bed's brand new! Help us with the sticky floor! I think they need a little more! Hang on, why is it me itself? Oh, already is quite unwell! Now we've hit the overlord! Send us flying down the road! Cut me head off, I'm a fish! Who taught you to drive all this? Looks like money's on the shore. You need to chop some more, of course. Easy now, let's keep it civil. Look at little Reggie dribble. Now I'll come by tea tonight. Send us flying like a kite. Fix our clock, it's really drunk. Pop the ball, he's in our hole. Push that box and squash these two! Eat it up, it's good for you! Bang the nail now, please don't fuss! It's better if you stay with us! Put the fish in the hole! Eat the seed! Push the ball! Push the tatty! Squash the box! Butter it up! Fix the glass! Oh, there you are, lovey. It should be ready for you now if you'd like to bob in. Ah, oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm just about to tuck into this delicious Amsani and I've lost the mayoral mustard. Ooh! What a beauty! Oh, I've never seen one this big before! 
Been since I saw thee on Il Clemore Bartat. Where has the been since I saw thee? Where has the been since I saw thee? Where has the been since I saw thee on Il Clemore Bartat? On Il Clemore Bartat? On Il Clemore Bartat? There's been a court in Mary Jane on Il Clemore Bartat. There's been a court in Mary Jane. There's been a court in Mary Jane. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. Thou go and get the death of cowed. On Il Clemore Bartat. Thou go and get the death of cow. Thou go and get the death of cow. I'll milk them more about that. I'll milk them more about that. I'll milk them more about that. Then we shall eat the bury thee. On ill claim or bar tat, then we shall eat to bury thee. Then we shall eat to bury thee. On ill claim or bar tat, on ill claim or bar tat, on ill claim or bar tat. Then twarms will come and eat the hop. On ill claim or bar tat. Then worms will come and eat the hope. Then worms will come and eat the hope. And you'll play more about that. And you'll play more about that. And you'll play more about that. Then ducks will come and gobble up worms. And you'll play more about that. Then ducks will come and gobble up worms. Then ducks will come and gobble up worms. That's where we get us on back 
on El Clembor Bar Tap. That's where we get us on back. That's where we get us on back. That's where we get us on back. On El Clembor Bar Tap. On El Clembor Bar Tap. 